All right, guys, welcome back to part three of the chessboard tutorial. In this part, we're going to be making the knight. Now, this is probably going to be the hardest one so far. So anyways, without further ado, let's begin. All right, then let's begin from where we left off last tutorial. Now, for the people who didn't watch last video, we made a rook. So now on part three, we're going to make a knight. OK, so first, let's do the same thing. We're going to select all all everything. Um the pawn, the rook, the image. So now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna move the knight image to the center, okay? So um, let's try, we're gonna try to make it um, in the center. Okay, uh, not the sculpture up here, the thing up here, but the, the cylinder down here, the base of it, okay? So now let's add a actual cylinder. So shift A, add mesh, cylinder, okay? So now let's go back to front view and scale it down. Okay, um, I think it needs a little bit of moving so that it's in the center. Okay, perfect. Now you can scale it down like this, move it up. Okay, we might want to scale it up a little bit, okay. Okay, about this much is good. So now let's go into edit mode and select the top face. Okay. So now we're, we're gonna look at the side. We don't need to look at the whole thing right here since it's actually the same thing over there until the top. Okay. So let's extrude, scale, extrude, scale. Now this part is gonna be literally the exact same thing as what we did earlier. So go ahead, just extrude and scale okay e s okay extrude scale extrude scale extrude scale okay almost there guys there we go. So now, after this, we're gonna do the it's kind of similar. We're just gonna extrude scale, but we're also gonna move it around to to try to make it follow the curve, the flow of this. So you'll see in a moment. Okay, so let's first extrude again, and we're gonna scale this so it fits. Okay. So there we go. Um, we're gonna try to make it fit now. You might want to move it on the X if you if it doesn't fit But it it, it, pro it probably wouldn't Anyways, let's also scale this Move this, okay There we go perfect now you don't always need to go out of front view and select the top if you unselected it. What you can do is also loop select right here like this with edge select. So you can just select it like this. Okay, perfect. So now let's extrude it, uh, move it, let's rotate it as well. So we don't want to just make the face fa uh, the face, face up upwards. We also want this for this specific model though. And we want it to follow the curve of the horse. Okay, so as as you can see right here, um, we're gonna move it around, rotate it, so extrude. It might not be aligned in the normal that we expected sometimes. Just deal with it, I think. Okay, there we go. extrude okay so it's just gonna require three specific things we just gotta know how to scale and rotate and move stuff around okay okay almost there Okay, now you're gonna see right here. Why am I not uh, extruding it along this curve? 
because I think it's gonna be a waste of energy if we try to make it fit right here and what we can do later is loop cut so yeah okay so now uh, let's keep going here first then we can continue on the other side okay Okay, almost there. We're close. Okay, now right here at the tip, what you're gonna do is you're gonna extrude it. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna scale it down so that it's a uh, very small like that so it doesn't have a flat tip at the end now it, you might think that it looks like some kind of see see how or something <laughs> uh, hope, but, but stay stay with me we're gonna get there okay so now we're gonna cover up those spots like this so like first this major one right here so we're gonna loop cut control R and then we're gonna scale it okay perfect now here as well okay and now now we're gonna work on the ears now so as you can see this loop cut that we just gave we want the end of it to be on the right here on the ear and we're gonna loop cut another one so that it's on the other side of the ear now what you're gonna do now um it might look uh not good on the side right here it's kind of poking out where you, what you can do is scale it on the y a little bit so that it kind of goes in with the flow of the the night as well as this one i'll scale it on the y because it's kind of poking out from the side okay so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh let's look right here okay you're gonna select where the ears are coming out from so it's this row how much do you want the ears to come out from the center so you want it to be out from the center by one a uh, one square two square three square now uh it's up to you but i think i get uh, my pretty good results at three so as you can see it's one two three one two three so overall right here uh, combined is six okay so now let's extrude it and then move it up now this is that this is the important part um when you scale so it's uh scale you don't want to just normally scale it because you're going to end up with something that will go to the center so now it's kind of poking to the side right now but we'll fix that in a moment but first let's do this okay so first we're gonna scale it on the z by zero so that it's flat like this okay and, and don't worry it's still tweaked to the side but we'll fix that in a moment, a moment okay so now let's extrude it and then now here is the important part when you scale it you want to scale the shift y oh yeah it has individual origins on so unless you have individual origins on um when you scale it um it will, it will go to the center of each other but now if you have um let's say individual origins right here it won't okay so that, good to know okay so now uh, let's scale it down now we have individual origins on okay extrude and scale okay looking good now uh let, let's fix this it's kind of looking like uh like some kind of uh weird deer or something <laughs> okay so let's press Control uh, plus numpad plus okay and then uh oh wait C minus okay we don't want to select the bottom part right here okay now what you're gonna do is change from individual origins to bounding box center or something like that that is not individual origins and what you're gonna do is just press s and scale it 
so that it's pointing upwards like this. Okay, this is good now. Okay, so now once you got that, you might want to fix this horse's, uh, I mean, knight's nose or something because it looks pretty round right now. So what you're going to do is maybe like select this and control sh uh, shift wait, control numpad plus. Okay, and you can turn on proportional edit and then scale it on the Y. Uh, let's lower this right here. Um, and what you're gonna do is just try to make it flat, a little bit flat, um, and it should look uh, good, as you can see, looking nice. Now that we're done with the model, you can give it a subdivision surface modifier. And then shade smooth. And then let's fix these parts. Okay, so like right here, loop cut and select this face inset. Slide it out, click. Okay, looking good. Um, there's some parts that you might want to fix, like the ear right here. It's kind of small, getting small in the middle. So let's turn on, let's turn off the view right here of the subdivision surface, and uh, let's select it in the loop like uh, the the area of it, okay, as well as this one, okay. So uh, make sure now proportional edit is on. Uh, I mean individual origin, sorry. Um, and then what you can do is you're gonna uh, make sure proportional edits on, scale it. Uh, let's lower this first. Let's lower this, uh, or else it'll be chaos. Okay, you can make it bigger, and there we go, looking good. Now let's turn this on again, or else it will look pretty bad. Okay. Now it won't exactly fit this, but I think it's actually pretty nice here. Okay. So last thing we can go here, click right here and add our material. And our night is complete. Okay. So um, that is it for this video. The next video will be the bishop. Okay. If you think I could adjust anything or I did anything wrong, uh, please leave a comment. And also, um, if you like the video, uh, make sure to leave a like and maybe subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.